You're listening to The Money Hour with your host, Tina Mitchell, and co-host, Keelan Harvey, on Alternative Talk AM 1150. Now, back to the show with local mortgage experts, Tina Mitchell and Keelan Harvey. Welcome back to The Money Hour with your host, Tina Mitchell. And co-host, Keelan Harvey. You're a local mortgage expert. It's right here on 1150 AM KKNW, the Saturday, November 3rd show. It's a great day to talk money, and that's what the show is all about, how to make money, save money, and have a better quality of life for you and your family. If you're hearing our show at a different time or day, you are listening to a rebroadcast, but we're here to connect you with the guests that we have on the show. You can call the show at one 855 411 Again, that's one 855 411 or online at themoneyhour.com. And in studio right now, back by popular demand, my good friend Danelle Green with Higher Path Healing Celebrations of Life, Activate Your Soul Power. Danelle, thank you so much for coming back in studio. Thanks so much for having me. And isn't it nice just to listen to her voice? She's so calming. She does have a good voice. She does. Thank you. (laughs) And a little bit about Danelle. Danelle is a guide and a healer to help people activate their soul power. As a certified hypnotherapist and owner of A Higher Path Healing, she meets clients one-on-one or in group sessions in person or online. As an ordained minister and owner of Celebrations of Life, she writes and officiates weddings and legacy celebrations and funerals. Danelle and her husband, Kevin, place international high school students in host homes through Green Heart Exchange. They have hosted 13 students since 2006. Janelle is a healer and guide who will help you rise to the next level in any area of life by activating your soul power. Wow, Janelle. So some of the most happiest moments in my life and the saddest were, of course, a wedding and a funeral and I mean, monumental moment in people's lives, and you officiate those. How, how did that, how did you get involved in that? How did it start? I was first ordained in 2006, and so I did weddings and funerals as a part of my church job, oh. and now I'm ordained online. Um, so obviously it's very, very fun to do weddings, and it's an honor to do funerals. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, Janelle, why did you become a hypnotherapist? Well, I was uh, working at home creating my business celebrations of life, and I happened to buy a coupon for a $20 hypnotherapy group session, and I Mm -hmm. walked away from that session in May of 2015 unable to eat a graham cracker or or Oreo cookie. I simply can't eat one to this day. That's crazy. And so I realized what a great tool this is for transforming people's lives. So that fall, I became certified. So hypnotherapy, that's... That's awesome. Your subconscious, we've, I mean, we've yeah. talked, we've had guests mm-hmm. and things and talked about how small of your, like you use a small portion of your brain compared to the massive amount that you don't use. So, I mean, I, I know believe- I'm a really dang smart person, but I don't know where it all goes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's up with my other little part or whatever, but, um, so what's the difference with hypnotherapy, uh, for your clients' lives? Why hypnotherapy? Well, the conscious mind is, you know, just five, one or f- to five percent of our brain thinking and capacity. So our subconscious is 95 percent. And that's where all our beliefs and behaviors are stored. And so if we can um, remove limiting beliefs or negative events mm-hmm. or negative, any negative story that a per- person has, and we transform that to something positive and empowering, it literally changes your brain and every part of your life. I like it's amazing. It. Me and Tina nerd out a lot. I mean, we, do. we, we both have like mm-hmm. our motivation channels. Like I use 40 minutes of a commute every single day to dilute. We all have negative thinking, right? No matter who you I are. I do a refresh every day at 12 o'clock where I leave the office to go jam out and just listen to all my motivational stuff. She never not misses to, it. Not to get in a better place, but to keep myself from getting in a the not best place that I possibly can be. Yeah. You know, it's it's powerful stuff. And, you know, I just wonder why more people don't put more attention and focus on this because it really is going to direct the career that we're going to have, the life that we're going to have, what we're going to be able to contribute to um, back to our community, right? Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. That's so so true. explain a little bit more how it works, uh, Danelle. And so it is a 90-minute session, and the client is um, put into a relaxed state, kind of how you feel when you're getting your hair cut or something where you just really don't want to move or even speak (laughs) because you're so (laughs) relaxed. And then I begin uh, conversational structures and word pictures to help the person discover what um, their inner mind wants to share with Mm -hmm. them. 
Um, it might be a story from the past, something that they're currently working with, or something in their future that they're worried about and they want to gain confidence. And so it's whatever the ki- client brings to the to the session. So you're really taking that that block that they're having that is preventing them from moving forward in a positive way in their life and eliminate it. Yes, it's very true. We yeah. can eliminate emotions and all sorts of things. Yeah. Yep. So now I'm curious. So uh, what do the people that you serve need the most that you see? Well, I think everyone on this planet usually is uh, dealing with relationships. So improving relationships, mm-hmm. improving the relationship with money, just like you were saying mm-hmm. earlier, and also their health. So those are the three big uh, th- things that people want to change. And money would have to do with lack of confidence or how much confidence you have, right? Because, you know, so breaking down those barriers of feeling they're not good enough or they're not able to accomplish something is going to have a direct impact to the income that they're going to be able to make, correct? Oftentimes your money story started in childhood. Yeah. Those are some of the things we transform. Well, And don't people have a negative connotation of money? Certain people think of Mm -hmm. pain and negative things when it comes to money. So they kind of deflect it from their lives as opposed to it's more of a means for you and your family and that type of thing? Absolutely. It's yeah. abundance, yes. you know, and brings abundance to our lives. And so if we could have a better picture about money and mm-hmm. feel better about it, we'll be able to attract it into our lives. Yeah, I love that. So what does it mean to activate your soul power? Well, that is an experience that started for me in on October 31st, 2013, Um, where I was listening to a book by um, Stephen Pressfield, The War of Art. And in that book, he said, the part we create from is is far deeper and stronger. The part we create from can't be touched by anything society did or our parents did. It is the part we create from is unsullied and indestructible. And Mm -hmm. all of a sudden, I felt a shift in my psyche that was profound. And I realized that um, my soul was okay and my soul was my connection to divine power and universal source Mm. god whatever sure um so i have created from that um a program that helps people find their own soul and live with a sense of um light love power and wisdom Mm. from their inmost being and it's a beautiful way to live and it's a very powerful way to live so, Danelle, you, you mentioned uh, previously infinite greatness. What does it mean to live your infinite greatness? Well, when you realize you're connected to divine source, you're not limited by anything. Mm-hmm. You, are, you have the, the universal power available to you. And so you wake up every morning just realizing, I am infinitely great. I mean, what a great way to start your day. Yeah. And your mind believes the story you're, that you tell yourself. So if you can tell yourself that story and believe it emotionally, spiritually, physically, mentally, it really does transform everything about your life. Yeah, and I love how you uh, talk about, you know, that you're really meant to be um, your own superhero. And I I do believe that we each have a very special and unique gift to provide the world. And I believe that our job is really to... Um, to find out what that is and to really embrace it the highest level that we can. So what does that mean for you in um, being your own hero? Well, oftentimes we look outside of ourselves for truth. But when you activate your soul power, you can look within. Yeah. And so the be your own hero part is actually I teach my clients self-hypnosis techniques. Okay. So that they can have tools to remove their limiting beliefs um, or emotions for themselves. So that's like the third stage of the soul power experience. So you're really setting up like a financial planner is going to teach us how to budget our money and how to manage that ourselves so we're not having to call them all the time. Kind of the same thing is you're giving them the tools and resources that they can use to um, activate themselves, their own superhero. Yep, absolutely. I know. It's amazing. So amazing. That is great. Danelle, what are some other tools that I sell? Self-hypnosis, I think, is powerful. Is there any other tools that our listeners can use to improve their lives on a, on a daily basis that you could think of? Well, mindset, obviously, mm-hmm. is very important, just like Tina was saying. She goes away and makes sure her mindset is super positive. Mindset takes kind of a, a long time to accomplish mm-hmm. because it is very mindful. Um, and so any, (laughs) and so any time that you can have someone help facilitate that process for Mm -hmm. you and be a listener and a guide really makes the whole process 
happen a lot faster. Well, and correct me if I'm wrong. You have to be really proactive at that. Like mm-hmm. me in the morning, I have a gratitude shower. It's really weird. It sounds weird, but it's my time in the shower. So the things I'm grateful for. And then I just put as much positive thinking in my mind and I work at it a lot. And I've been doing mm-hmm. it for years. Yes. And if I stop, I notice that there's a shift. It's kind of weird. I mean, am I on the right track there? You got to put a lot of effort into it. Absolutely. And if you need a little bit of help to make sure that you don't go into a shift as easily, you know, Holler find a practitioner. Yeah, yeah. Give, give me a call. That's uh, awesome. Well, it's kind of like when you're uh, going to the gym to work out. I mean, you have to continue working out. You have to continue Good. eating correctly. You have to continue making better choices when it comes to your health and lifestyle. And same thing with your mindset. You have to always make the best decisions in how to put yourself in that best um, place and how to constantly uh, be getting better at interaction with external. Because as you talk about so much, and uh, it's so true, it really is all of the internal stuff and how you internally are going to deal with something that's happening externally because you don't have control over that, but you have 100% control over this. And um, so I just think what you're doing um, and what you're the gift that you're providing to people is is just so powerful, uh, Danelle. And that's why I love having you in, in studio here. So where are you located at? How can people uh, connect with you? So I'm online at DanelleGreen.com. That's D-A-N-E-L-L-E Green.com. You can find everything you need there. And also... Uh, Message me for a free discovery call. Yeah. I'd be happy to chat with you. And you you said in, in your bio, I mean, you meet with people face-to-face, but also you can do uh, virtual meetings as well. Absolutely. World, yeah, world's kind of taken over by that virtual meeting. D- speaking of face-to-face, to know, where's your business located, spe- like physically located? In Snohomish. Snohomish, cool. Okay. Good to know. Are you going to ask Nell another question? Shall I? I was I was giving it to you. Oh, I was passing the that baton. That was my question, baton actually. To you. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> that was my question. <laughs> yeah. He's she always tries to blame me all the time. I'm like, no. yeah. <laughs> kidding, I'm kidding. So, uh, Janelle, you're, for what you're doing, what is your passion behind this? Because I know we all have a, a why behind uh, what we're doing and why we want to make a difference in the world. What is yours? My passion is freedom mm-hmm. for um you know, anyone in the whole world, literally. I used, when I worked for a church, I was serving 200 people. Now I serve 7.5 billion. Wow. And uh, my my heart is that people could find spiritual freedom yeah, and strength. I love that. Well, Janelle, thank you so much for joining us back in studio. It's always nice to, uh, to see you face to face. Thank you, Tina. And coming up on next on the Money Hour, Internet Tools and Online Search Engines, Darren and Carly DeHaan with DCD Property Group right here in 1150 AM KKNW after this short break.